Some goals for traversing an automatic door with an assistive device include checking the doorway configuration to ensure the doorway and the path beyond are clear of obstacles. Be aware of your patient's functional status and always use a gate belt when necessary. Avoid having your patient or yourself struck by the automatic door closing as they can close swiftly and without warning. Use the tips of the assistive device and swing the door wider than minimal to progress through the doorway. Lastly, always clearly instruct your patient to move with diligence, slowly as to maintain control of the assistive device and to maintain control of balance. As a disclaimer, this is the only skill that I will use verbal cues and contact guarding. All of the following videos will be shot without contact guarding to show the patient's path more visibly. Always use contact guarding and a gate belt when necessary. When instructing a patient on using an assistive device for the first time, always ensure proper contact guarding as to avoid loss of balance. Also, when going through the door, use your free hand if necessary to hold some of the weight of the door. That way the patient can traverse the doorway safely. Always use proper verbal cues when instructing the patient on how to traverse a door with an assistive device. You can use the following verbal cues for this scenario. Chad. I want you to approach the door. When you get to the door, transfer your weight into the cane. When you transfer your weight into the cane, use your free hand to open the door and swing it wide enough to traverse the doorway safely. As it swings, use your crutch as a doorstop against the base of the door. As you walk into your cane, use your free hand to push the door again, adjusting the cane to use as a door set farther towards the door handle. As you move through the door, I will be using contact guarding the whole time. Is that clear? Is that okay? All right. Instruct the patient to approach the handle side of the door and stand outside of the swing arc of the door. Have the patient shift their weight into the cane opposite of the hand that will open the door. The patient will place a free hand on the door handle and use a pulling motion to swing the door just wide enough to place the cane in as a doorstop. If the door were closer to the free hand, the patient could just hold the door open with their free hand and walk through if possible. If not, the patient will progress through the door by pushing with the free hand and adjusting the assistive device closer to the hinge until completely through. Instruct the patient to stand directly in front of the door and have the patient shift the weight to the crutch opposite of the hand closest to the door handle. With their free hand, the patient will push the door open wider than the width of the patient and the crutches. The patient will quickly return their hand to the crutch and use the crutch closest to the door as the door stop. The patient will then repeat this process to move the door open wider and progressively move the door stop crutch towards the handle side of the door. The patient may use one final push when the crutch tip nears the end of the door in order to avoid the door's swing arc. Instruct the patient to approach the handle side of the door as before outside of the swing arc of the door. The patient will shift their weight to the crutch opposite of the hand that will open the door the patient will place their free hand on the door handle and swing the door wider than the patient and the crutches. The patient will then use the crutch closest to the door as a door stop again. Another push may be needed to adjust the door stop closer to the hinge side of the door as the patient traverses through the door in a straightward fashion. Instruct the patient to stand directly in front of the door and have the patient shift the weight into the hand away from the door handle. With the free hand, push the door handle open as before and use the walker as a door stop on the door side. The patient will then step into the walker and continue this process until completely through the swing arc of the door. Instruct the patient to approach the door as before on the handle side of the door outside of the door swing arc. The patient will then shift their weight to the hand opposite of the door handle and use the unweighted hand to swing the door wider than the walker and the patient. The patient will then quickly return their hand to the walker and move the walker into the open door, with the legs closest to the door serving as door stops. The patient will then step into the walker and turn the walker sideways into the doorway. 
The patient can push the door further open if needed. Then they will slowly ambulate sideways through the doorway using the legs as doorstops until the patient is completely through the door.